wigs on Wednesday. Before I do anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me right now if you've been following me all along. Can't wait to have you join the channel. Today is a really special video for me. It's actually the first time that I was sent a wig by a company to review for you all. So just a little mini celebration. So this unit is actually available to be purchased on Amazon. This is an Amazon seller named Morika. And this wig is their Morika Short Wavy Bob with Bangs. And what I wanted to kind of use this wig to cover with you guys today is the opportunity to use wigs to test out different hair colors and styles with your face before you commit to something at the hairdresser. Just because I wear wigs doesn't mean that I don't sometimes switch up my actual natural hair. And we all want to change from time to time, but sometimes we're not feeling that brave to go drastic. And one thing that would be drastic for me would be bangs. I haven't had bangs since I was eight years old. I have a higher forehead, but the widow's peak and all those things combined just... So when this seller came to me and asked me if I'd review one of their units, I immediately zeroed in on this unit. It had great reviews from what I could see so far, and it had a bang option. So I was like, let me go with that. I like the color. It's like something close to how my hair winds up when it's like fading from my dye, but not exactly something I always do. So. I'm just gonna get right into it and show you how this came from them. So it came in this little Ziploc baggie. When you take the wig out of the baggie, you get a free wig cap and that's something that a lot of Amazon sellers include. It's like a nice little touch. You never know what goodies are gonna be in the, the wigs they send you to be honest. And the wig, so I am just going to take her out of the packaging and pull her on for you. Um, this is not a lace front unit, so no lace cutting involved, which is sometimes nice to have something that you can like throw on and go. I am not sure how these bangs are gonna look. I will be playing with this wig, so we'll see how I can get this to work for me. And just before I pop it on, I wanna give you a nice, very good view of the color. They called this the Brown Mixed. So that was the shade I went for, and you can see it's like a four with like a little bit of a golden amber kind of highlight. Real quick guys, before I pull this on, I'm gonna show you the cat construction of the unit. So we have two front side combs in this unit and then a comb and the adjustable straps in the back. A basic cap is perfect for this one. So let me just throw this on and see what we have. So real quick, I'm just going to give her a very light brushing. She does have a wavy, mild curl pattern. Just gently go over her with a wig comb. And here she is, right out of the pack. No changes done. Um, just a little brushing to smooth her out. The hair density is really nice. It's not too thick, which sometimes with uh, Amazon wigs, you can get a unit that has just so much hair, it just looks fake from the density of it all. This is actually really well done. This bang is a little long for me, and I'm not sure if I like the blunt chop of it, so I'm actually going to put this on the head and play with the bang in a second just to get that, see what I can do with that for us. Um, but overall, very happy with the touch. Now, not being a lace front, not being a super expensive unit, there really isn't much to say. There is no parting space. This is pretty typical for a wig like this. Just, you know, the front hair going forward for the bang and the rest, you know, being directed down the sides of the head. Um, but honestly, for a throw on and go, this is a, a cute little moment right here. Let me just give you a 360 real quick as she comes out of the package so you can see her from all sides definitely not my usual look I am not mad at that and I'm gonna go grab the mannequin head so that we can play with these things I'll be right back okay guys I have her on my mannequin head and basically I just want to clean these bangs up and thin them a little bit I actually 
wasn't mad at all at what I was seeing when I rewatched the first part of this video. I just think they're a little thick and they're just a little too much in my eyes for my comfort just because I don't wear bangs. So we're going to go with this and I actually watched a video from Brad Mondo about doing bangs over quarantine. I'm going to link that below for you guys to see he teaches you side bangs, a front bang and a short bang and different techniques to do that. But basically half our process is done because this unit already has bangs we just need to give her a little bit more of a clean portion here so what he suggests you do is you take like the front center and you want to make sure that it's an even piece on both sides I think I actually have a little too much coming that way see what I have on my sides now You're just gonna take your center, and honestly, I don't need this to be that much shorter. I just need this to be a little bit shorter. And what he basically was very clear on, which I wanna be very clear on, is you don't wanna make these too short, and by pulling down on your hair and cutting, your hair, when you release it, is gonna bounce back up. So you really don't wanna have like any tension in this comb whatsoever and when you cut these bangs just to give you a little bit of um, a leeway you're gonna cut on a 45 degree angle so I'm just gonna snip like this right across just to take a little bit of that length off Get it a little bit higher. Might do a smidgen more. Remember, you can always cut more. You can put it on and decide you didn't do enough, but it's harder to do too much and then try to figure out a way to get that hair back. So just go slow. There's no rush in these processes here. And then. Honestly, I don't even know that I have to do anything too much with the sides. Um, I feel like they're kind of naturally coming down. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. So you want to meet the side to the shorter area that you snip so it's not too chunky. So really, you can kind of even just see. It just needs to be like right here. Just take a little bit out just to make sure it doesn't look like a box cut. See how it's like one level, other level? The goal is to just, and he said, you're always cutting the same direction in this cut. So this side, I'm gonna work up to that shorter point. Now, the other thing is this is still a little full. So we're gonna go back to that center section that he had us have before. And we're just gonna take off from the top layer of it. So we're not gonna do the whole section. It's just the top layer of the section. And you're gonna lift it up. And from that top layer of section of hair, just a little bit here. This hair is very fine, by the way, guys. And I wanted to actually say this earlier, I don't think I did. This texture is very silky. This is not a yaki unit. This hair texture is beautifully silky and fine, just so you know what kind of texture we're dealing with on this unit. And so we're gonna go this way sideways. And he said to just, I feel like I'm on the wrong side of this guy, snip up the top part. Just that high point there, going down at the 45 degree angle just to give it some texture and a little bit of layering to make it thinner. I don't think that that is thin enough at all. I'm tempted to use my thinning shear. He didn't bring these up in the video, but I feel like this is gonna give me the results I want. So I'm actually going to just, I think I just do the whole thing. I'm like, I'm scared though. Do I just do it? Like a nice little like, Snippity snip snip here. A little bit 
short. Like super on the end, guys, right? Like this right there, right? Not bad. Again, right on the end. trying to just take the tiniest snips possible and we do that by going with the green of the hair okay and then I'm just gonna see this like little extra stuff that you can tell is still going in my eye no matter what I do or possibly going in my eye just cleaning that edge up Let's see how I did. Okay guys, here I am with the finished look. I have to say I'm a little bit proud of myself. These feel kind of natural. Instead of just having like this dense bulk of bang on my head, this really thinned out just how I wanted it to be. A little wispy, it's not in my eye, it's like right above my eye, but I feel very like natural and intentional with this look um definitely a moment with this style a short wavy bob um but different than how the fantasia came out this i really do like the fall and flow of this hair on this unit i think this is like super easy on and go and you kind of saw it as i was taking it out of the package earlier but i really want to say the brown mixed color is really pretty it's definitely two shades of brown blended together beautifully so you get like that deep rich four shade and like I said there's like this golden amber deep amber tone that highlights this and it's it's this is a really beautiful unit guys and it was under $17 Amazon Prime you'll get it in two days um, so I'm gonna give you a 360 going the other way just because got to give you the the finished look for you to enjoy show you the back not really any construction issues on the unit nothing that i see that's super concerning um overall i think this is a really great little purchase so i recommend that you pick one up and there's some really good colors i'm gonna try to put stills in so you can see the different shades it comes in black a black brown mix which is like a fs1 b30 blonde like a natural blonde blue which is a very like steel blue look the brown mixed it comes in gray and then platinum blonde a purple which is very much like a gray lavender purple and then a wine red and that wine red color has a ton of reviews on it people have photographed it, it it's a really beautiful um, rich burgundy red so check this unit out by Marika it's definitely worth your time once again this is Janine with wigs on Wednesday and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to catch all the good stuff coming to you and I will see you next time take care of course I want to once again thank Marika for sending me this unit to share with you guys I hope you enjoyed this review of course like comment share as always and if you haven't already make sure that notification button is pressed I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh